everybody, this is Krabs Koho here, bringing you guys another replay. Funnily enough, this is going to be a different replay for you guys. As you guys might be already used to, this is... I usually do replays by myself. And funnily enough, I'm going to be doing something different. And this time, I'm going to be doing a collaboration. So, I'm going to be collaborating with my flatmate, who um, actually got recently in the game, into this game. Uh, he's only been playing for uh, maybe two months or so. And, well, he's learning, he's getting the, the hang of the ropes, and he's pretty good with Americans. And I'll just give you guys an introduction. His name is Jack. My name's Jack, and my username is Jackie Vamps, as you'll see in this game. Uh, yeah, I've been playing the game three months now, and, yeah, I only play with Americans, so <laughs> you'll see. You'll see that I'm not the best, but I'm, but I'm getting there. Like. But, yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty good, um, especially because uh, we like to... Whenever you guys um, have the opportunity to play team games, it's always very helpful playing with somebody you know. Um, definitely would recommend that, especially if you got a flatmate or a brother. I don't even know. Whatever you guys have, a friend. Um, even people that you meet online, just play with them. Um, add and some fun to the game. Yeah, add sure. some fun to the game. But anyway, I'll just, I'm just going to get this game started for you guys while we keep on talking here. This is going to be um, a 2v2 road up to Mont Thurm made by Mannerheim. As you guys might know, Mannerheim is quite uh, a popular professional player. Um, I'm not sure about it in Vico, but in Coho, he's actually known as Mannerheim X. Stupendous score he has on there. Um, very amazing. Uh, so a very good player, but he seems to also make maps at the same time. Also, if you... Um, you guys noticed that uh, I'm actually not playing as defensive commander or axes at all. Um, I'm getting back into allies um, since Coho, and funnily enough, it's actually quite fun, uh, especially doing uh, the 2v2 element. Um, team games bring a whole new factor into uh, playing this game. Um, I'm not too keen on 3v3 and 4v4, but you know, that's okay. Uh, 2v2 is really fun. Um, a lot of strategy that still goes on, but anyway. Um, I'll just get on started with uh, what is happening. So right off the bat, what me and um, Jackie Vamps like to do is we have a combination of tactics. So as you guys can tell, um, I've got a weapon support center coming out as my first building. First unit going to be built from this is a sniper. Now I'm not going to explain why we're doing this just yet, but um, I'm just going to go on over to Jackie Vamps and tell you what he's doing. So I've started with just uh, riflemen, it's just got to be a standard start for me, so basically four riflemen, it might it might be five, I can't actually remember, but um, basically what what we do is we just we just decide to take the middle and one other side, just play this game as a team, like rather than just going separate sides as a lot of people do. And exactly, so what he was doing, um, his first time, <laughs> his building that he's getting is a barracks, so as you guys noticed, we got two, only two separate buildings. Um, Going for a weapon support center in the beginning is actually quite a limiting strategy. By that I say because you actually don't have much capping power. The only capping power you should really have is from your engineers. Um, and snipers, not recommended whatsoever taking strategic points. Um, so right now we have a wee skirmish going on in the center here. A whole gang of pioneers trying to take on these engineers. But Jackie Vamps throwing some riflemen to back me up. One pioneer squad taken out. Engineers retreating. This rifleman's squad is going to have an easy job. Pioneers are quite weak units themselves. Taking one guy out. These guys really need to get out of here. And all so, of them away. yeah, all of them running away. Now I haven't actually introduced you guys to who we're actually versing, but this is uh, two Axis players. So we've got these two Axis players on the south. We have Bowser Mensch. I would just call him Mensch. I think that's going to be a bit easier. And we have Fly. Um, now they're both average players, I would say, and quite an ideal match when you're playing as the playing just when you're new to the game and um, trying to get used to a new faction. So you know it's always good playing with people or your um, skill unit. level. And so what I like going on right there, as you guys know, it's my sniper providing support for the rifleman, taking out the first MG, and that delay between manning the MG provide enough time for Jackie Vamps to actually take that. Um, MG out. So Jack, what kind of what kind of um, build order are you going for right now? So basically, yeah, like I said, I'm just going for four riflemen. I think originally you'll just see that on the left side of the map, my engineers are running back. Well, basically, I was just going to try and cap as far as I could up with the engineers, but then as soon as I met those uh, MG, I was just like, "Gonna get back. We'll just keep. We'll just stick to the side." Exactly. Just get back. 
And so what I really like right now on this map, if we throw up the tactical map, as you guys can see, there's quite a split of units. So as you see, Jackie Vabs has two guys in the center here and uh, one rifleman over here. So as you guys can see, retreat my sniper because um, these pioneers are closing in. And now snipers, I know they're very good units at taking out um, guys, but then again, their weakness is that they're very vulnerable. So always retreat them when you're being closed in on. Unfortunate loss of Jackie Vamps is a rifleman squad here. Um, Enemy units now, down. I gotta mention, in the beginning of this game, we actually lose quite yeah, a bit of um, a bit of units. Not so much Jackie Vamps, I think he only loses um, one one uh, rifleman squad, but I actually lose quite a few snipers um, from this from these shim wagons. As you guys can see, roads give um, a speed bonus for vehicles, and this shim wagon have absolutely no trouble whatsoever taking out my snipers. Now, I'm not exactly sure if shim wagons have uh, an MG or a bullet damage bonus compared to normal motorcycles, like but you know, I wasn't very used to um, taking on shim wagons. And as you can see, one sniper going down, another one coming onto the field and just being taken out. This is such a huge loss in the beginning. But I, as you guys can see what happened earlier, I think the um, manpower loss is sort of evened out. If you guys saw that uh, Pioneer Squad was taken out, the MG was taken out. So about even sort of um, losses right now. Um, right, But right now it's just a bit of a split. So Jackie Vamp's on the left. Just trying to see what he can do um, down here, but this MG providing a lot of uh, suppressive yeah. power. Jackie Vamp's trying to come about a bit behind, but I think he's a bit afraid of this MG, and rightly yeah. so, the MG is turning around. So I like how that quick response from Fly of uh, what was happening there. And as you guys can see, I get an, a uh, flamethrower on my engineers as soon as possible, and I would totally recommend this. Either put down mines or get flamethrowers. Yeah. So two flamethrowers right now. Flamethrower is very good against infantry. As you can see, putting down mines because I'm anticipating either infantry movement coming through this area Enemy or more uh, shim wagons. Like On the road as well, because that's the, the default path for the, for the vehicle. Exactly. So the roads are normally um, the default path for vehicles. So vehicles automatically like to go on roads because they get a speed bonus. Um, so that's why mine placement on the roads is very nice. Takes out a shim wagon in one shot. And so right now, just little skirmishes going on, a bit of wee capping, and just just a little stale uh, stalemates in the beginning. Yeah, so they actually got those stormtroopers. Exactly, exactly. So exactly. So uh, Mensch actually got these. Uh, went for Blitzkrieg quite early. Now I'm gonna commentate on what the uh, positive and the not so good things that these players have done. Um, in the beginning, a general sort of rule of thumb is that the allies usually choose their doctrines first, and then the axes respond to that. Um, I think Mesh should actually have kept his um, command points a bit longer, and then uh, uh, responded to what we had. Because these stormtroopers are coming about out a bit too early. I know they're really good units, but as you can see, um, they're costly for one, and you know it's just too early. Yeah, so I actually lost uh, my flamethrower. I think I just upgraded them with flamethrowers, engineers. Yeah, I was a bit annoyed about that. Like, it, it felt like it was, it was like a tenth of a second. Like, but actually, it was a bit longer than that. Looking back. Like. Exactly. So what we're uh, not really used to, as I said to you guys, um, we basically got into uh, Vico recently um, from Coho. So we're probably used to the uh, tributes from um, Coho. Yeah. And Coho, um, what you guys might have known is that MGs could actually rip guys apart really easily. And surprisingly enough, enough it seems like um, the MGs and Vico, not as powerful, but still a lot of the same damage capabilities. Um, so right now, as you guys uh, noticed, like I said that I got a, a weapon support center first and Jackie Vamps got a barracks. The reason we do this is supposed that I can support him and he can support me. So I have I get only pure snipers and engineers. So when I have a few snipers on the field, I get a few engineers. And as you can see, these guys are so useful at taking out the MGs. Um, so basically, my snipers are always backed up by his riflemen. Um, whenever a, a motorbike like this, a shim wagon, comes about, his riflemen will be nearby to try and uh, throw on sticky bombs, or even the bars are enough to rip apart these guys. So as you guys can see, a shim wagon coming out. God, quickly get my guys away, so I put them in the building, providing defensive cover. And <laughs> as you guys can see, enemy units. Exactly. Too late. And uh, like as I said, the riflemen supporting my snipers 
taken out that shim wagon really easily and I retreated that sniper now over in my base I've actually just gotten down his weapon support center what my goal is to build a tank depot as fast as possible and go for a tank depot or a tanks as fast as possible should I say so basically my plan here was uh, to go airborne and uh, get some paratroopers down and then once I got the paratroopers I was going to go for anti-tank so basically we have a good balance between infantry and uh, tanks exactly so just what Jackie Vam said um, there's a lot to say in this game just basically we have this whole sort of strategy fortified we know exactly what we want what I'm doing I'm providing supporting power in the beginning rushing straight for tanks because I'm not going to be spending fuel on bars or uh, upgrading my weapons uh, or my um, my supply yard should I say so I've got that fuel to automatically rush for tanks and that will be providing a lot of hassling power for the um, against them and just basically what Jackie Vamp's doing is providing a lot of the infantry bases and he's gonna be going for airborne as well so the reason behind that is like I said a lot of infantry so he's gonna have paratroopers with recoilless rifles very good against anti-tank also good with their charge ability and as you can see, he'll be providing a lot of their brassing power, and while I provide a lot of the sort of pushing force, really. And now I absolutely love this going to happen here. Boom! One grenadier taken out. Panzer Shrek drop. That is a 75 lo ammunition loss for um, the Axes. And as you can see, picking up the Panzer Shrek just so that they can't reclaim, and that's what I totally recommend for you guys. Whenever they drop weapons, just pick them up, you know? Definitely. And yeah, so right now we have qu a quite I don't know you could say stalemate. They are the axes are getting totally pushed on the right hand side over here, um, but on the left side they've got a solid control with MGs in critical buildings and in critical areas. They've also got a sniper just scouting out a bit ahead. See, I would say that um, what they could have done better here was definitely push the left side, make us try and defend the left side, whereas they just. Seem to be too intent on to exactly, the exactly. Side. They're very intent on getting the right hand side, but they've sort of forgotten the left hand side. I mean, they could have easily made a push over there. Um, but as you guys can see, we're both um, sort of going for the right hand side, just trying to take them out. And as you guys can see, I'm always scouting it out a bit, just seeing what is happening. So on the left hand side I realized that they've got a few MGs there and I'm going to make an attack for later. <laughs> now I absolutely love what happened here. Oh, this, is unfortunate. this is quite unfortunate. What I wanted to try to do is use my sniper to lure that um, shim wagon into my mine. And funnily enough it did work but losing a sniper at the same time. This leaves uh, them a very good opportunity to um, start recapping points because I had to retreat, get my guys out of there. But Jackie Vamps, funnily enough, has quite a bit of guys still up yeah. here. Just, just upgrading those uh, paratroopers there as well with recoilless rifles. Right exact, right? Exactly, so he's got his paratroopers ready. There we go. So they, have a, they had a lot of guys here. They had a lot of guys. Now I have to commentate on, or critique them on, having so many um, Panzer Shreks. I mean, as you guys yeah. noticed, we didn't even have a single tank out. Uh, we don't even... Yeah, we don't have any tanks or jeeps or anything, so quite too early use of, um, of yeah, exactly, Panzer Shreks. It's too much. I think they should have gone for, like, MP40s or maybe even an LMG, a light machine gun. But as you guys can see, each squad ca uh, has a Panzer Shrek. This is an insane amount of um, anti-tank going around.